in the aftermath of yesterday, uh, what was that? What was that like to get involved in the offense and to get into the end zone uh, twice? That was good. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I touched some paint, so it's always um, always good to be able to get in there and just uh, you know, it's always good when the offense is is moving the ball and rolling like we were yesterday. I know you're a team guy first. It doesn't matter who's scoring the touchdowns, but mm-hmm. you know, I mean, I, I is there any part of you as the season's going on where you're going like, man, am I am I ever going to get you know an opportunity to score? I don't necessarily think I look at it like that. Um, you know, it's always nice too. Um, but I don't know if I'm sitting there saying, "Oh no, when's it my turn? When's it my turn?" You know, because um, that'll come if I'm doing the right thing and um, doing what I'm supposed to. You know, that, that stuff will handle itself and it'll come when, when it is time. So, football guys are with me yesterday, and I got in there a couple times. So it, it was a uh, it was good. We were having fun, and again, being efficient as we were yesterday on offense. Um, that's uh, that that's always a good thing. You're always having fun playing around. It makes a little makes the game even more fun than it already is. Does it seem you've been around teams that have made playoff runs? Uh, and I know it's week to week and whatnot, but mm-hmm. you guys won a couple games in a row. Does does it feel like this team is maybe starting to hit its stride to maybe have one of those kinds of runs? Yeah, you know, I think there's a chance. Um, you know, even even from the beginning of the season, you know, in training camp and um, you know, I know a lot of people outside of, you know, this building kind of weren't, I don't want to say we're writing us off, you know, from the jump, but, um, uh, didn't think we were going to have, you know, very good season. And, um, I think the guys, uh, in this, on this team, um, this coaching staff in this building, um, knew that, you know, we had a chance to, you know, do something special and, and make a run at the playoffs and, um, uh, be a team. We are a good enough team that we can get there, you know, and again, it's, it's, week by week, day by day, um, and just keep stacking and try to get another one this week and, you know, give it everything we have week to week and then see where it falls in the end. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Adam? Hey, Tyler, thanks for doing this. Yeah, no problem. When you think back on that preseason outside expectations, what do you think it was that people missed about this team, that it could be in this position 11 games into the season? I don't, you know, I don't, you know, you're always looking at stuff and it, it's a lot of it's on paper, um, kind of in the preseason. Um, you know, we got a young team. Um, you never know what you're going to get with that. So, you know, some, some guys that we had last year that, you know, weren't in this building, some, some veterans and, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's every year it's always on paper and then you got to go out there and do it, you know? So, um, just taking it day by day and getting better as a young team, you know, learning how to win, um, week in, week out, and, um, you know, just taking it day by day and, and working to get better and continue to try to go get another one this week. For the first and second year players who have not been part of a playoff push before, like what do you want them to know about this, these last six games, like this stretch run? I just learn how to learn how to win daily. You know, you, you're going to win your Sunday games. It starts with, you know, the Monday or the Wednesday preparation, you know, if not before that. Um, you know, getting in the film room, watching the, your opponent, um, and then going and attacking, learning our game plan for the week, going out there in practice field, executing, attacking it that way, and, um, you know, just stacking day and day and day, and then being able to go out there and just cut it loose and play on Sunday, um, you know, and that's how you learn how to win. Coming in every day, no let up, and just keep going. Thank you. Thank you. We're right with you, um, Jordan. Hey, Tyler, thanks for doing this. Yeah, no worries. Um, what was your takeaway with how Davis Allen and Hunter Long played yesterday, um, particularly their involvement in the run game? Yeah, I thought they did great. Uh, Davis got his first career catch, which I was stoked about. Um, but I mean, those guys, those guys come in every day and work during the week in practice. You know, they've been showing that they can do it in practice, um, you know, the last few weeks, especially. And, um, you know, it was great getting them in there and um, let them do their thing. You know, it's exciting. The more tight ends we can get up uh, on a weekly basis and get those guys in the game, it's great. You know, I love love seeing those guys get out there and be able to go do their thing. And um, I'm rooting for them just as much. And it's even better when we get a couple tight ends out there, you know, if not three, and uh, be able to get in the wing set and go work together and, and <laughs> try, to, try to kick somebody's butt that way. So it, it, it was awesome. We've talked a lot about what your role as a blocker, especially with the, some of the gap stuff you guys are doing now, um, does to affect a defense. Um, I'm wondering if you could expand a little bit on when defenses are 
facing that type of of blocking, but it's coming from a rotation of different tight ends, what that can do to a defense. Yeah, you know, I think everybody everybody's got their own little um way that they play the game can I can add a little different twist to certain things and um and then again too being able to have a rotation like that too can take some stuff off you know some of the shoulders from one guy not doing it all the you know the whole time so and then the more that we can do with that stuff it opens up some other things that we can get off of that off of those actions and things like that so um it's definitely something that has worked for us so far and uh, we'll continue to get better at do you have a pitch for Sean for a three tight end play that you want to run we, we've been working on it we're working on it so we'll, we'll, we'll get there soon. Just got to keep proving that we can do it, you know? <laughs>